Mark and Wheel, yeah, yeah. Mark and Wheel, yeah, yeah. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. Monday through Friday, player. Watch it while you own the go. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. Catch them at 8 p.m. They're gonna tell you what they know. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. Monday through Friday, player. Watch it while you own the go. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. Catch them at 8 p.m. They're gonna tell you what they know. What's going on, everybody? You see it. In the bill with Will. And it's so funny because this spell check is getting on my nerves. I'm going to fight it big time because you know I know how to spell my name. That that's That's crazy. That is bananas. Let's go with this. Hey, let's get it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's Monday. I hope everybody had a great, great, great weekend. Um got a lot of stuff to get caught up on uh mark's not here tonight so you know anytime mark's not here we're gonna go kick it into the in the building with will uh big time that's how we gonna do it um so you know mark's doing this thing gotta take care of some business so hopefully he'll join us tomorrow and uh you know today's the day today monday right uh polls day so make sure you guys Vote, vote, vote. There's two polls. Defensive and offensive player of the week. Come on now. We need to get those numbers up. Vote for those kids. And um, I'm going to say this again. I always say and I know we got new people who uh, has joined the groups and the page that, uh, you know, what we do, we try to do our best and go through the stats and, you know, get some nominations and, and decide who needs to be on these polls. You know, in our mind, we have a set number that we're looking for, something that jumps off the screen for us. So not everybody uh, gets to be on the polls. And also, um, if the schools does not report them to the Kentucky High School Association, we can't put them on the poll. We try, though. We try. We try. So make sure you, like I said, make sure – you have an opportunity to go ahead and go to the players, and I think it's on the Facebook page, period, and vote for these kids. They deserve it big time. Um, let's see. Speaking of that, don't forget, this is where we at. This is where you're going to find us. I know I got the the Twitter. I need to change that, but I'm, just, I'm, I'm stuck with that. You know, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, you don't stop. Instagram, YouTube. We got Mark and Will Gaming. We got all that good stuff. And we got the Players Club, which is growing rapidly. I know hopefully after this pose and things like this, or while the pose is going on, we'll go ahead and get at least probably close to mm, 9,800 uh, big time. Make sure you guys also on the page where this is on, make sure you go ahead and uh, follow the Mark and Will show page. Please comment, like. You know, it's all about having fun. We doing our thing. I got one one of the the uh, family the uh, the of the Mark and Will show. What's up, Shannon? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Um, so make sure you do that. Go ahead, follow, share, 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 like, comment, comment, comment. You're not gonna always agree with us. That's okay. I'm used to it. My my siblings and they never agree with me anyway. So it's all good. I'm used to that. I've been been used to that. So it's all good. So make sure you do that. Uh, speaking of my uh, sibling, one of my siblings, we got to get them and get uh, the mayor wants to be on this FNC Friday Night Crew. Actually, this is going to be moved to um, this is going to be moved into the um, underneath the umbrella of the Mark and Will Show page, so it make it more accessible and easier for you guys to find what I'm talking about when I'm saying FNC. So make sure you. Uh, be on the lookout for that. We'll get together and talk about what's going on in, in the world. And sometimes it's sports related, sometimes it's not. It just depends. A lot of stuff is going on. So we got to definitely uh, get that. So, like I said, everything's going to be moved. Speaking of that, uh, the Mark Will Gaming, you know, um, it's got its own page, but it's now it's going to be underneath the group. 
So that'll be underneath the Mark and Will show. So you'll be able to get that and see what we're talking about. So we can go ahead and have some tournaments and have some fun uh, with that also. Um, all right, let, let's get into it because there's a lot of stuff going on. I'm ready. I'm ready. And the bill with Will. What's the deal? All right, let's go. Major League Baseball. So we had some games that happened over the weekend, some big-time games, right? National League Championship Series, Phillies, six downbacks, one. That was Saturday, which forced it, well, gave Philly a 3-2 lead. Y- y'all know how I feel about Philly. Y'all know I don't get down with Philly. I don't get down with Philly. I don't get down with that. But they take care of business. Philadelphia teams take care of business. So, hey, they doing it, and they playing today, and we'll get into that shortly. Um, next up on that one, though, we have we have the Rangers, right? The Battle of Texas. Rangers yesterday forced a game seven, nine to two over the Astros. Y'all know how we feel about the Astros. Astros, they may they may steal signs, they may do all kinds of stuff, but they take care of business. They win. But the Rangers said, hey, we ain't buying that. So it's 3-3. 3-3, right? So Rangers with a big win to force that. And so, speaking of forcing things, right now, right now, Diamondbacks 5-1 to one over the Phillies. Like I said, that's 3-2 Phillies. So if they win this, they'll force a game 7. I think that would be, if that's the case, I think that will be tomorrow in Philly. This game is in Philly, but Diamondbacks, Arizona don't, don't care. They don't care about all that. Do you care about all that? No, I, don't, they don't, I don't care about all that. They don't care about all that. Then right now what's going on, game seven, I'm telling you. I know a lot of you guys is like, baseball, I don't get it in that. It's like watching paint dry, you know, as, as a former player. I mean, you know, that was my, that's my stilo. I used to love baseball. Still like it. But this is the time that you need to watch it. I understand Monday night football is about to happen and, you know, San Fran, which has got some hurt people. And so, look, game seven, must watch. Got to watch it. You got to watch it. You, you, you like it. You like it. It's intense. So that's going on right now. Also, American League, that's, that's getting cracking with that. So make sure you definitely uh, show your love, you know. Let's just don't just cheer on one sport. Let's go ahead and and look at everything and take care of business on that. Trying to get everything together for you guys. So y'all know that we've been doing spotlight players. And I'm talking about this banging. So make sure it's it's not too late. It's not too late. We have put a thread basically on um on our Facebook page and we also have done our uh players club. So, you know, go ahead, continue to to send those pictures of your favorite youth player. So, you know, you're talking about high school, middle school, uh, elementary, youth league, all that. So go ahead and do that for us so we can go ahead and uh, see if we go ahead and make somebody a spotlight player. But we got two tonight. We got two tonight. And I think I'm going to go ahead and start one for you. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see. So, look, Wayne Grant, look at that one-handed grab. I don't know about you. And he's six yards in the end zone. My goodness. Now, these guys, they ain't trying to tackle nothing. He, You know, this is what he does. He's actually also a quarterback, right? He's a quarterback. Dude, I want you guys to see this again. I, want, I mean, for real, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to let that wrap up right there. But I'm, I want you guys to see this again. Watch this interception. Watch it for me. Watch this one hand. Yee! Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, that's tough. That is tough. That is tough. And then he's got the wall. They try to block for him. Then you got some people who really don't want to tackle. I mean, you know, being an ex uh, uh, defensive player, you got, yeah, come on, dude. But look, great run. Hey, Ling, Grant. Spotlight player. Let me tell you about this particular game real quick, right? Let me tell you about this particular game. That pick six was 106 yards. He threw for 315, four TDs, 75 yards rushing, and a TD. Yes. And you'd be like, man, he's spotlight player. 
Spotlight player. So Adara County constantly puts out these these players and, and, and these stats. So everybody can't get on it. So that's why he wasn't on the pole. We got his teammate who had over 230, 40 yards uh, receiving and four, three, four touchdowns. But anyway, Lane, congratulations. You deserve it. Woo wee, that one hand of baby. Yeah, that was special. That was special. Speaking of special. I don't know if you remember, and I think we hit on it a little bit. I'm pretty sure. Uh, you you know, yeah, y'all know what time it is. Congratulations to Las Vegas Aces. Back to back. That's what they do. Like like they was the favorite. I mean, love uh, uh, Brianna Stewart. I mean, she she's she's a beast. We all know that, but. Come on now. They was the best team all year. And they took care of business. Got that And in this champ, in this game, they had several key play starters out. Two starters were out. And they still won. Unbelievable. I'm telling you, I don't know how to fix what's going on as far as, you know, getting more teams or um, you know, getting more people involved and liking it, but, uh, you know, watching it. Because once you watch, you become a fan. Um, yes, it's not dunk. It. Well, I don't know. Brittany Ground and them, they be throwing it down. So I ain't going to say that. But fundamentally sound. They take great, great, great game. Great fundamental, fundamentals and stuff like that. So you definitely got to watch it. But anyway, congratulations, Las Vegas. Hey, it was the best team all year. And they won it back to back. That's what it's about. I'm telling you guys. That's what it's about. All right. Uh, let me do a look. Tomorrow is the start of NBA. How many of you guys forgot about that? Well, the Bucks didn't. The Giannis didn't. Agreed to a three-year, $186 million ex extension. Yeah, that's not that's not incorrect on there. And for you guys who kind of had a little problem in math class, you know, and I know, I know some some people did, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna help you guys out with this one. Okay. Sixty two million a year. Bad man, but sixty two. My gosh. Woo! Hey, but you won a championship. You're doing your thing. Congratulations, Giannis. Taking care of business. That's what he does. My goodness. I could. Ooh, can y'all imagine it? 60. Mm -hmm. uh, this next one, I mean, we're tired of this. But really, uh, they said James Harden, MIA, he hasn't shown up. He's still mad at the GM. He doesn't have nothing to do with him. Um, yeah. Really? I mean, ain't we tired of this? It's the same old thing. Like, like, dude's out of shape. He don't care. He wants to go back to Houston. Now he's saying the Clippers. The Houston, they said some other stuff was going on. I mean, I, I don't – if I'm 76, I guess it's no takers. And they want something for him because, you know, a Hall of Fame career, basically, uh, close to it. Um, always was an all-star. I mean, you know, I understand. But people ain't trying to give up nothing. And I can't blame him. I wouldn't either. I mean, what's the deal? MIA, you can you can stay MIA. If I'm them, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even mess with you. You know, that's that's it is what it is. And that's crazy, but it is. So uh it whatever. All right, let, let's get into Y'all know what we're gonna do. Y'all know what happens on Sundays. Tonight though. We got a game. We got the 49ers versus the Vikings. If you are a football fan, NFL fan, you definitely going to watch it. I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm not going to lie, guys. I don't know if I'm going to watch it. I mean, I, like I said, I got a game seven that's going on right now. Um, I might peek in on this game, but this game, I mean, you know, I don't even know why this is a Monday night football game. 
I mean, this is not no disrespect to 49ers. This this matchup is not good. I mean, at all. I mean, I understand if JJ didn't get hurt for the Vikings, Jefferson, and to see him go against that that monster defense, the 49ers. Now that that's interesting. That's some storylines. Uh McCaffrey, he's he's gonna play. Hurt is hurt is oblique. Trent Williams, he's out. The Hall of Famer for 49ers, offensive tackle. Debo, I don't know if he's playing his shoulder, all kind. I mean, they should have flexed this on out of there. This should have been the same. It's, it was several games that you should have went ahead and put over this game on Monday night. Even when the schedule, you, you, you should have. But, I mean, you know, it is what it is. It's probably a home game, probably a thousand, a million 49er people. They travel well. So, but uh, ain't, ain't nobody interested in that. Not for real. If you're not a 49ers fan. And the Vikings fan. I mean, where the Vikings fan at? What skull at? Go ahead and comment. Let's go. Let's go. 49ers. Y'all, y'all let me know the score. Because I, even without Trent, McCaffrey's playing, this should be an easy win. This should at least be a 10-point win. Should be. You know, a lot of stuff happened yesterday that wasn't good. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That's crazy, but it is what it is. I'm sorry, you know. People, people still don't know that um, I do a uh, show so they continue to text and stuff like that. But, you know, all right, I'll just let them know, too. There we go. So let's get into it. Some of these games yesterday, um, not even just yesterday. Let's go Thursday. Let's go back Thursday. You guys know that we did three shows on Thursday. So let's go ahead and rock and roll with this one. The Jags 31, the Anks 24. Um, I, the, congratulations, Anks. Uh, you did come back. You did come back You because it was looking real bad for you. You came back. You made this a game, but you still lost at home. You gave up 31 points. And and, and the thing about it, the Jags is, was trying to find their uh, – Find they self and all that kind of stuff. But found they self as far as they've been slow with the offense, but they was they was cooking, doing a little bit something, right? Doing a little bit something. Battle. And they are now five and two. Peterson's a bad coach, man. He he's all that, man. For real, for real. <laughs> y'all better watch out for them Jags. I try to tell y'all. Trevor Lawrence, 204 yards, one T D. Um Trevor Lawrence also had 59 yards rushing. ETN had 53 yards rushing, two TDs. Uh, Christian Kirk with a monster play at the end of that touchdown. Um, six catches, 90 yards, one TD. Evan Ingram, five catches, 45 yards. Four, the Aints. Derek Carr, I mean, Derek Carr, 301, was complaining about two weeks ago, last week, and this week, whatever week. He had 301 yards, but he threw 55 times. One TD, one interception. Hey, you, you, uh, I'm going to give you the ass on this one. You Saints fan, well, are y'all pleased with him? Are y'all happy that y'all have him? For real, be honest. You know, what? what what's the deal? I mean, Jameis can do this, right? I mean, y'all know he's throwing W's and all that kind of stuff, eating them and all that, but it is what it is. Alvin Kamara. Only well, seventeen carries, sixty-two yards. Um, taste some taco powder. That's what we call him. Five carries, eighteen yards, one TD. Alvin Kamara, your leading receiver, but ninety-one yards, but twelve catches. So you dinking and dunking out there, dude. That ain't gonna do it. Who's happy with him? For real, Saints fan, are you really happy with him? Be real. Quit playing. Quit playing. Are you really happy? Are you satisfied with him? If it is, something's wrong. Something's wrong. All right, my, my other sibling that didn't ever agree with me. What's up, D? How you doing? Something wrong. Be honest, man. That, 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 it's not good. It's not good. It's really, it's really not good for real, bro. But, hey, that's on y'all. Jags with a good win on Thursday. Took care of business. Y'all know how that goes. All right, let's let – ST. Let me make this a little bigger so ST can see this a little bit better. There we go. ST, your Colts lost to the Browns, 39 to 38. 
first of all, I don't know about you guys. I did not see this coming. I did, points wise, I, I thought the Browns would win, but giving up thirty eight points. I don't care fumbles, whatever you want to do. That's a lot of points, and for the Browns who. Mr. Watson, Mr. Uh, guaranteed $240 million, got hurt again. Wow. Got hurt again. I, it is what it is with that one. So, Mr. P.J. Walker had to come in and take care of business. And he did just enough. So, let's get into the stats real quick. P.J. Walker. 15 for 32, 178 yards, one interception. Deshaun had five pass attempts, one uh, completion, one interception, five yards, goodness gracious. Jerome Ford, 11 carries, 74 yards, one TD. Kareem Hunt, my God, 10 carries, 31 yards, two TDs. They gained 150 yards on the uh, ground, so they took control with that one. Um, no pass TD, they all was rushing. And, of course, the defense did what they needed to do because I'm going to tell you, right now, Miles Garrett should be the play, a defensive player of the, of the year right now. Do that two sacks, tackle for losses, fumbles, havoc. For uh, ST's Colts, 15 for 23, Ming Shiu, 305, two TDs, one interception. Jonathan Taylor, 18 carries, 75 yards, one TD. Zach Moss, for you fantasy people, 18 carries. 57 yards. Seemed like they're trying to split it to keep everybody happy. Bump that. Give the ball to Jonathan Taylor. Bump that. Quit playing. Josh Dow Downs, the rookie, five carries, hundred. I mean, five receptions, 125 yards in the TD. Michael Pittman Jr., two catches, 83 yards, a TD. Good win for the – anytime you went on the road, and this coach team – it's better than um, you know the uh, you know they was three and three. They're better. They're stronger. Jonathan Taylor's back, but the Browns, man, I I didn't think the Browns would score that many points. I didn't. I don't, I don't care. I mean, we we understand that you know fumbles and t different stuff, but I I just didn't I just didn't see that. You know, uh, we got fun recoveries. We got all kinds of stuff. Hey, good win, Browns, man. The Browns, hey, 4-2. and two. All you Browns people can dust off all that Brown paraphernalia you got. And some of you guys now can look, – look, Jim Brown, that's my dog. I got a jersey. But, you know, you ain't got to worry that no more. Go ahead and go on and get, you know, uh, Miles. Go on and get him. Go get his jersey. Quit Dust y'all stuff off. You know that's dusty. Y'all know now y'all going to be wearing y'all stuff. I hear you. I hear you. Some of y'all got to order stuff because y'all know y'all don't got that. It is what it is. <laughs> Patriots. Patriots 29, the Bills 25. I think Antoine and I, we both took the Bills on this one. But, wow, Bills is 4-3, and three, Patriots 2-5. and five. What is wrong? Bryson with your Bills. Josh Allen, 27-41, 265 yards, two TDs, one interception. James Cook, 13 yards, I mean, 13 carries, 56 yards. Dalton King K, let him in receiving, not Mr. Diggs. Eight catches, 75 yards. Diggs, six catches, 58 yards, one TD. The winners, Mac Jones, Mac Jones, 25 for 30, 272 yards, two TDs. Mm. I hear you, Mac. I hear you. Only sack one time. Uh, Stevenson, nine carries, 34 yards. Zeke, the freak Elliott sighting. I do miss you, Zeke. I do, man. 11 carries, 31 yards, one TD. Kendrick Bourne, six receptions, 63 yards, one TD. Let's see what Devontae had one catch, only eight yards. Um, Hey man, great great win for the Patriots, but Bills, what what is uh, what is going on? What's going on with the Bills, man? Saw some earlier, and actually I ain't saw. I did it. I'm sorry. Fraudulent, the fraudulent thing talking about all the Dolphins fraudulent. You know, spam. I saw that. But how about the Bills? Are they legit? Really? I mean, we really got. I mean, I'm telling you guys. I mean, Josh Allen is a special talent 
but he's he's not elite. He makes too many bonehead plays. To me, he reminds me of Brett Favre. When Brett Favre was playing at a younger age, doing all kinds of crazy stuff, running around, throwing bombs. Because Josh Allen can throw the bomb better than anybody. Dude, I mean, he he got an arm. He got a live arm, and he got digs. But because you had a close game in the playoffs against the Chiefs, that don't make you a Hall of Famer. Y'all lost the game. And y'all, could not, y'all lost to a weak Patriots team. Wow. Wow. Uh, that's sickening. Sickening. Uh, congratulations, Patriots. It is what it is. All right, let me let me go ahead and do this. Let me go ahead and get the, the next spotlight player for you guys. Let's do that before we finish up with the NFL. All right, let's go. Michael Carey from Afterton. Hey, man, he has solidified that running game for Afterton. Afterton has won their first district championship. Y'all heard me first. Coach Nino, Coach Bryce, and Coach Giddings. Impressive. My guy has changed it, man. Look at this screen. Dude is a big time runner, man. Look at that. Got the moves, got the balance. That's hey, that's what I'm talking about, man. And he has really helped Atherton. You know what I'm saying? He he joined the team late, talking about able to play. Um, and he is excelling and this is the perfect time you have look the weather changes not everybody can throw that pretty ball but you better know how to run that ball if you don't have a running attack you ain't gonna survive you ain't not gonna survive in Atherton high school does michael carey spotlight player all right i'm sorry patriots fan I came back to you because I had to do something special for the Mark and Will show. You know how we do. We do our spotlight player. So I had to take care of that. So let's get back into this because is this getting good? Now, this right here, Giants for uh, – look, I got the Giants and Giants. It, ain't, it might as well have been the Giants and Giants because freaking commanders got upset with it. They wasn't happy. Jonathan Allen, he was cussing. He's tired of it. He's tired of it. I don't blame him. 14-7. Now, this is the crazy thing. These teams are really identical if people are healthy. They're not. Commanders, how you lose to the Giants? Like, geez, man, the G-Man? That, that is definitely not good. That is, that is horrible. You ought to be shaming yourself. No wonder Jonathan Allen's cussing. I would be too. 14. Do you only get, they talk about Mr. Howe being the next best thing since sliced toast and all this stuff. He seven points. The last time I checked the Giants, I mean, don't get me wrong. They, they had a good game against the Bills. They should have won. They should have beat the Bills. I'm not going to lie. They should have beat the Bills. But Tyron Taylor is beating you guys and only scoring 14 points. All right, let's get into it. Tyrod Taylor, 279, two TDs. That's a solid game. That's a solid. Better than any Daniel Jones game. And you done pay that man 40 mil. So if Tyrod Taylor wins another game and does like this and kind of say the season, do you what do you do? Because we know you done gave guaranteed money to Daniel Jones, which is crazy. Right? That's crazy. That is be that's bonkers. Ain't no way. Ain't, there's no way. There's no way. But you did. Shame on you. Shame on you. Right? So, Mr. Barkley, 21 carry, 77 yards. Tyra Taylor also had 25 yards rushing. Um, let me see. Darren Waller sighting. Thank goodness. For all you fantasy people, thank goodness. Do get on the board. Seven catches, 98 yards, one TD. Congratulations. Long way to go, though. Long way to go. Sam Howe, the next best thing. 22 for 42, 249 yards, one interception. 
Chris Rodriguez, Kentucky sighting. They must have had some players get injured for him to play. Seven carries, 31 yards. Brian Robinson Jr., eight carries, 23 yards, one TD. They was just trying anything. They only had 76 yards total rushing. They, they was trying anything. Um, Tory McLaurin, six catches, 90 yards. You lost to the Giants? The Giants. The Giants. Daniel Bird. What's going on? What's the deal? Your team. I see you, nephew. Y'all got it. Curse no. Thanks for the highlight, Mark Whistle. Hey, no problem. Thank you for working with us, man. Thank you for doing and providing what I needed. I really appreciate you, man. Big time. He's a big time uh, athlete. Big time, without a doubt. Uh, let's see. But, hey, the Giants? The Giants. Commanders, hey, y'all need to get Re Rivera need to go. He needs to go. He needs to go. Speaking of this right here, I'm sorry, Pops. Lamar wasn't having none of that. I know you in heaven watching, but he wasn't having none of that. <laughs> Lamar and then put on a show. This was 28 to nothing at halftime. Ravens 38, Lions 6. I'm sorry. I got a little excited. But it was exciting. Lamar, everybody said, Lamar, he can't do this. Dude did a thing in the first half. Game was over. It was high school for been like a running clock or something great happened for them, man. Hey, Lamar Jackson, 21 for 27, 357 yards, three TDs. He had that like in the first half, man. All this, he can't pass. All the Louisville fans, the people who play Louisville, he was, they know that dude can pass. And yeah, he needed to do work, but now he's got an offense that's open up, right? He's got receivers, as long as they catch the ball. He has receivers. So now, if you sitting there covering the receivers and you don't got a spy on Lamar, what well, do you think? He can, he can tuck it if he wants to, and then he's gone 50, 40, 20, 60. Hey, man, both of y'all will quit playing. Gus Edwards, 14 carries, 64 yards, one TD. Justice Hill, four carries, 46 yards. Lamar Action Jackson, nine carries, 36 yards, one TD. Wee, wee, wee. Gus also had one catch, 80 yards. Zay Flyers, four catches, 75. Man, this, this was a beat. And I was kind of shocked. Now, I picked the Ravens. If you watch the show Thursday, I picked them. But I didn't think it was going to be like, this was a butt whoop. This was, yeah, somebody, Jared Goff, 33 for 53, 284, one interception. Gibbs, 11 carries, 68 yards, one TD. St. Brown, 13 catches, one. It really, I don't even really read, need to read. They said, man, this, this, this is bull. That, that, all that stats was from second half trying to get fantasy stuff. They got themselves because that, this was a beat down. I did not see this. If anybody said they saw this, because the Lions are not your mom and pop's Lions. It's not even Will's Lions, because I was around when they was horrible. This is, this is a good Lions team. And the Ravens destroyed them. No one's talking about the Ravens' defense. They number one in the league. This is the third team that they done uh, held under 10 points, I think. I'm telling you, as this, I, I said it before, what's going to happen, what's going to happen is this offense is going to get comfortable. This defense is going to be healthy. You got the trade, trade deadline coming up. People's going to try to get some more people. I'm telling you guys, it's different. Ravens is get ready to hum along, hum along, and it's hey, you better be worried. Lamar and them coming, man. Wow, look at here, look at here. The Mayors team goes down. Who'd have thought that the Bears would score 30 points with a third string quarterback that didn't get picked? It happened. 30 to 12. And you already know what's going to happen. Badgett, uh, yeah, Badgett, Tyson Badgett, 21 for 29, 162 yards, one TD. Uh, 
Dante Foreman did his thing. 16 carries, 89 yards, two TDs. Um, DJ Moore had only had 54 yards. Loved the 54. Um, Brian Hoyer, who has been in – this is the right now. We're going to say the Raiders. Why does people like Brian Hoyer gets to stay in the league? Didn't he go to Michigan State or something? Yeah, Michigan State. Dude's been in the league for 15 years and hasn't done anything. Well, he's done something. He's been stealing money. He's been stealing money. Uh, but hats off to him because if they're going to hire you 50, how many of you guys knew the dude's been in the league for 15 years? And I know it's hard. Dude don't play. Dude don't play. He's a backup. He's a backup and a backup. 15 years on somebody's roster is ridiculous. Dude, 17 for 32, 129 yards, two interceptions against a Bears team that wants you to beat them. And you couldn't do that. Aiden O'Donnell, should have. he should have started. He had 10 for 13, 75 yards, one TD, one interception. Josh Jacobs, hey, put him on the block. Dallas, go get Josh Jacobs, please. 11 carries, 35. Go get him. They're not you. I mean, come on. This is ridiculous. <clears throat> and while you're there, pick up Devontae Adams, too. Seven catches, 57 yards. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. If you had the Bears with 30 in your bingo, let me know. Did you have the Bears? Did you pick the Bears? Anybody pick the Bears besides... My cousin, Dre, and my brother, Skip. For real. For real. No, I'm sure you didn't. It is what it is. It is what it is. Goodness gracious. That's, that's embarrassing. Like I said, Josh Jacobs and Devontae, they might be on the move. For real. They might. They should be. Disgrace. Disgrace. <clears throat> Falcons 16, Bucks 13. Well, I, I had the Falcons, but um, they tried their best to give this away. This is, uh, I think, the second time I've really watched Ritter because y'all know how I'm big time critic of him. Um, yes, I know 502 St. X and all this kind of stuff. That's not why. I just, I just don't. I, anyway, he was 19 for 25. 250. The past two games, he's had over 300 yards. But guy was fumbling the ball left and right. I mean, if they played anybody except for Baker, they might have lost this game. Let's be real. Dude, my fault. I lied. I lied to you. I apologize. Dude had three fumbles and lost all three of them. You're not staying. You're not going to be a starting quarterback with that. I'm sorry. Uh, Allager, 21 carries, 59 yards. Cordell Patterson, dang, a sighting from him. He got 50, uh, 56 yards. Wow. Drake London, six catches, 54 yards. Baker for the Bucks, 27-42, 275, one TD, one interception. Mike Evans, please let him be on, on the block. Six catches, 82 yards, one TD. Dude this special. He's been special. And you know he's in, like, misery with Baker down there. Lord, goodness. You guys at home only scored 13 points. I know the Falcons' uh, defense has improved, but not that much. Not that much. Falcons, 16. Bucks 13. Lord, man, the quarterback fumbled the ball three times. I lost all three. Jesus. Oh, still a nation. Still a nation. What's going on? 24, Ram 17. Now, if you was able to watch this, if you had, um, if you was at a establishment or if you had YouTube TV where you could watch it, this was not a road game. It was so many still. I mean, we know still. It's it's really about five franchises that really travel well. Steelers, Cowboys, 49ers, Green Bay, 
And uh, it used to be the Raiders, but um, I know I'm missing one, and I had it in my head. Bills Mafia travel, but it, it's 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 another team, and I forgot. But anyway, this was a home game for the Steelers. This also was a big win for the Steelers. They four and two. They often scored more than twenty points. Okay, can, can y'all believe that? I'm serious. They scored more than 20 points. How about the Steelers? <laughs> Give it up. Give it up. Give it up for them. Congratulations. Big win, though. Any road win is big. A lot of people had them losing and things like that. They took care of business. Congratulations to the Steelers. Kenny Pickett, 17 for 25, 230. No TDs, no interception. Managed the game. Anaji her sighting. 14 carries, 53 yards, 1 TD. Jalen Warren, 6 carries, 32 yards, 1 TD. George Pickett's dude is special. Uh, wow, we we should have took him because, dude, I don't think they use him. Like, I mean, granted, he had five catches, 107 yards. He does that in his sleep. Dude is special. Matthew Stafford, 14 for 29, 231, 1 TD, 1 interception, sacked twice. Uh, Puka. Eight catches, 154 yards. Tutu Etwell had one catch, 31 yards, one TD. Um, great win. Like I said, you go see, look at the video. This was this was a disgrace. I think the Rams had to use a silent count at their own home because they couldn't hear it because it's still a nation was that loud. You you see, you guys big uh, built these. 100,000 arenas and stuff like that. Y'all, you guys ain't selling out like that. So that means there's a million tickets. And who don't want to go to L.A.? Pittsburgh fans. It's everywhere. You don't. Man, let's pick out. Let's go to L.A. Have fun. Let's check it out. Wow. Embarrassing. Seahawks. 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 Um, nice win for the uh, Seahawks. 20 to 10 over the Cardinals. I don't know why I took the points in Cardinals. I don't know what I was thinking. Couldn't have been thinking nothing. Um, Geno Smith, 18 for 24, 219, two TDs, one interception, sacked twice. Kenneth Walker, the third, which is nice running back, 26 carries, 105 yards. Um, Jackson Smith, Najiba, no, I messed it up. Four catches, 63 yards, one TD. Bobo, four catches, 61 yards, one TD. Where's my man? Is my man hurt? Half man, half robot must be hurt because I don't see no stats. Uh, Joshua Dobbs, uh, 19 for 33, 146 yards, um, uh, whatever, 10 points. Anyway, good win, Seahawks. They can't see the win. They win at home. They're 2-1 at home, 4-2 overall. Cardinals for all the 1-6. Only team they beat was the Cowboys. It's a freaking disgrace. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, way to go, Geno. Way to go. Hey, Robert, congratulations, your team won. All right, next up, we have the Broncos beating the Packers 19 to 17. Somebody has a lot of issues in, in their, with their offense. Uh, we already knew the Broncos. Everybody wants to get on the Broncos. Russell Wilson, like Antoine and I said, it's having a good season. He he he, he really is. But all the blame is going to happen on him. Everybody's going to get on him. He was 20 for 29, 194 yards, one TD. Javante Williams, 15 carries, 82 yards. McLaughlin, 45 yards. <clears throat> Cortland Southern. I mean, Sutton, six carry, I mean, six receptions, 76 yards, one TD. Jordan Love, 21 for 31. 180, two TDs, one interception. A.J. Dillon, 15, Curry, 61 yards. AJ, the problem is A.J. Dillon also led you guys in receiving. 30, only th 34 yards. Like, is Jordan love it? You're going to have growing pains. But is he it? I'm waiting. Packers. Packers fans. Is Jordan love it? I mean, he's waited. He waited his turn, all that kind of stuff. I, I don't think he is. 
I hope I'm wrong. I've been wrong before. It's not the first time. But, man, you lost to the Broncos? Sean Payton don't even like his team. Sean Payton is trying to lose every game so they can try to get a quarterback because he's getting Russell Wilson to boot. Even though Russell – y'all, man, I'm telling y'all, Russell Wilson is having a good year. Good year. He has almost 1,500 yards, 13 TDs, only four interceptions. Well, that's a lot of interceptions. Not in this offense, but 13 TDs. I'm telling you, he, he's on the block. They're going to get rid of him. But the Packers? The Packers is 2-4. and four. When's the last time you was able to say Packers 2-4? and four? And I know a Packers fan, well, we was 2-4 two, two years ago, four years ago. But we came back. Well, ain't no coming back from this one. That was that was Aaron Rodgers. This is Jordan Love. Sound like Jordan Love need to go on and do a podcast about the love factor because he ain't doing it. He ain't getting no love. Ain't showing no love. It's it's gone. It's a goner. Broncos with a win. Jesus. Chiefs. Travis. And I ain't talking about Kelsey. I'm talking about Hudson. Chiefs 31, Chargers 17. Chiefs do what Chiefs do. I'm, I, all I got to say is, this ain't had nothing to do with no Swift. Taylor Swift, she's always at the game. She's got they, they taking pictures. And uh, I mean, come on, man. Let, let, let's, let's chill, man. We know she's got a movie coming out in December or whatever about a concert. I mean, we know, we know the stunt. They ain't going to be together too much longer after that movie, man. After the season, after the parade or whatever they do. So let's let's kill that, man. Ain't nobody want to hear all that. Patrick Mahomes, 32 for 42, 424 yards, four TDs, one interception. That's why Mama, there goes that man. Petty, Petty Ice is that man. 424, four TDs, one interception. Pacheco. Only 32 yards. Mahomes, 29 yards. They need they threw the, he threw the ball all over, all over the place. That's what it was. Travis Kelsey, this is ridiculous. A tight end, 12 catches, 179 yards, and one TD. He was targeted 13 times, only once he didn't catch. Yes, 12 catches, 179. So I guess, I don't know, tell Tell him I, he might want to keep Teller around there. Let me go ahead and just scratch that. Kelsey, go ahead and keep around, bro, because you you putting up numbers like that. We know you always put up numbers, but 12, 179, hey, you got it, boss. You got it. Uh, Justin Herbert, 259, one TD, two interceptions. Joshua Kelly, 75 yards, one TD. Ackler, 14 carries, 45 yards. <clears throat> it is what it is. The Chargers, 2-4. and four. The Chiefs is 6-1, and one, sporting the – Best record in football. I hear you, man. Do your stuff. Now, the heavyweight match, the probably the best matchup on the ticket was the Eagles and Dolphins. And I did think it was gonna be the Ravens and the Lions believe, uh, underneath that, but that was that 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 was horrible. But anyway, Eagles 31, Dolphins 17. <sighs> and this was not a perfect execution. By the Eagles. You know, they had mistakes and this. But I will say this. I don't I don't think I've ever seen a game where um let me let me get this right. That they had no penalties. The Eagles had no penalties. Never seen that. Never seen that. Oh, you know, Eagles said, well, they be disciplined. We do. I've never seen that. Congratulations. Clean ball. 31 to 17. Now, then in this game, hey, this, this was, you know, this was something you had a lot of injuries for the Dolphins, but hey, they man up. They came back and tied the score. 17 all. Just didn't have enough. Um, I don't think, you know, people was talking about how the Dolphins, they haven't played anybody, da 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 da, da. And they, the two teams they played, they done lost. I'm going to tell you, when they get Jalen Ramsey back and, and Howard 
on that deep that de- that's gonna show up the defense. Long be back. Dude, I mean, I'm telling you, this is not this, don't sleep on them. And that offense is gonna be wicked. As long as two, and I said it, as long as two can be clean, that's gonna they're gonna be okay. But let me go back because I told my cousin Twine what I thought. I thought the Eagles would win this game because the Dolphins could not match up. He thought I was playing. AJ Brown. 10 catches, 137, one TD. Dallas got another dude, I said. Five Curry, 77 yards, one TD. Devontae Swing Smith, four receptions, 49 yards. They couldn't do nothing. Jalen Hurd, even though he had intercept stuff, stuff like that, 23 for 31, 279, two TDs. I mean, Swift, six, they couldn't. I, the Eagles was too physical. Too physical. They beat him up. Tua, 23 for 32, 216, one TD, one interception. Most start, nine carries, 45 yards. Tyreek Hill didn't get 100 yards. 11, had 1,000 catches, 11 catches, 88 yards, one TD. Waddle in and out of the lineup, 663. Cedric Wilson sighting. They beat him up. The Eagles' front seven is better. And then the Eagles knew they back in was hard, but they made a trade today. Got uh, Edmonds, who used to be with Pittsburgh, got him out of there and got uh, the, the starting Pro Bowl safety from the Titans, which is ridiculous. Why y'all keep trading to the Eagles? You know they're trying to build a, a, a dream team over. Why y'all keep giving up stuff? The league is stupid. It's really stupid, you know, big time. But they taking care of business. They beat the front seven, beat them up. They couldn't run the ball. They couldn't do nothing. But the Dolphins hung in there, man. But the Eagles took care of business. I'm telling you. That, hey, it is what it is. Congratulations. All right, before I got get out of here, I want to let you guys know big time. Let me get that off here. Update on some scores real quick. You got the Vikings 7. Wow, San Francisco 0 in the second quarter. Ooh, they better not stand because tomorrow's show is going to be off the top. Oh, speaking of tomorrow's show, we do have an interview tomorrow. Um, anyway, oh my God, let me let me get you guys up on this baseball real quick. We had the Diamondbacks beat the Phillies, so it forced a game seven tomorrow. Um, and the Rangers is up three to one over the Astros. Let me see. Congratulations to our spotlight players. We'll go ahead and try to do it again tomorrow for you guys. So tune in for that. And uh, let's see, y'all know how I do. Y'all know how I do it. I'm great. To do it right here. Don't forget an opportunity. Is this it? Nah, that ain't it. Uh, opportunity. Let's see. Let me do it right here. All right, opportunity. If you want the mail, ha, championship hat. Go ahead. Big time. Get a hold of Corey Manley, Coach Manley. 502-807-3212. He's got all the championships right there. And working on another hat for you guys. And congratulations. Congratulations to the champions of the girls' flag tournament central. They repeated. And look like some of the players, look like one of them was on the show before. Look like I don't know. We got some winner, but anyway, congratulations, Central High. The girls took care of business. Back to back champs. So hey, make sure you uh See anything, go ahead and like and share that. But on that note, I want to thank you guys for joining me in the building with Will. Interview tomorrow. Spotlight players, continue to vote. Uh, we're looking for sponsorship. Go ahead and get with us. Um, if you got something you want us to talk to about as far as what's going on in the community, any kind of clinics as far as sports clinics, stuff like that or whatever, Get at us, DM us, so we can make that happen. But I'm out, man. Y'all don't wore me out tonight. Peace out. I holla. One love. <laughs> it's eight p.m. Let's get it. Market wheel, yeah, yeah. Market wheel, yeah, yeah. It's the market wheel show. It's the Mark and Will Show. Money to Friday, player. Watch it while you own it go. It's the Mark and Will Show. 
It's the Mark and Will Show. Catch them at 8 p.m. They're gonna tell you what they know. It's the Mark and Will Show. It's the Mark and Will Show. Monday through Friday, play. Watch it while you own the go. It's the Mark and Will Show. It's the Mark and Will Show. Catch them at 8 p.m. They're gonna tell you what they know.